Hi, this is Scott Cunningham, Arc Light Dynamics. This is going to be a quick video to kind of show you the workflow, how you take a JPEG or bitmap image and go directly to the Arc Light Dynamics plasma cutter. As you can see, I have um, a simple sun image pulled up in the GIMP software. Uh, all this software I'm going to be talking about is um, included with the virtual machine. machine. Um, now this is a raster based uh, editing image editing software. If I wanted to make any changes to this image, I could. I could paint lines on it, I could modify it, I can change it. Um, there's a number of different things I could do to it and really um, it's too much to go into for the short video but um, we will be able to go over all this in the training that's included with your machine. But <clears throat> so if I wanted to make edits to the image itself I could but Actually, I don't. So this is just for example. Now, the next step, I would then take this raster bitmap or JPEG image and pull it into the Inkscape software, which I have pulled up here. Now, this software is a vector-based drawing software. Now, this is going to allow me to take this from what is essentially is a bunch of pixels and have the computer draw lines around it so that it knows the actual shape in where everything is of the image. Um, so the first step in here is to vectorize this image. Now Inkscape is, does that very well. Um, so the first thing is I'm going to click on this image and I'll go up to the path and I want to trace this image. So over here. I've got it traced. Looks good. I don't need the old one. So now that I have it traced, um, the next step is to resize it. Now I can also go and change things in here. As you can see, I can zoom in and um, if I wanted to, I can modify these pixels or these lines. I could drag them out, drag them in. I can make them sharper. I can delete some of these points but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave it just the way it is. So we're going to move out. And uh, the next step is I want, to, I want to size this down to the correct size that I want to cut out. I want to cut out about a 9 inch by 9 inch sun. So to do that I'm going to lock these and I'm going to change this to inches. Currently it's about 16 by 16. So we'll change that to 9. So it looks like I'll be getting a 9 by just over 8.5 sun. I'm happy with that. If I wanted to stretch this out in any way, shape, or form, I could. But I don't want to. So now from here, the next step is going to be to save this as a DXF. Okay. So. Actually, I have it on here. I'm going to overwrite this one. Save it as a polyline. Yes, I'm going to replace. And now I have it in a DXF format. Now the DXF format will then directly input into my sheet cam software. Sheet cam software, this is my CAM software, my computer-aided machining software. This is the software that draws the path and writes the G code that the machine will read. So this is where all the magic happens. So I'm going to import my drawing. And I know it exported in metric, so I'll import in metric. And there's my drawing. Um, now there's a number of different options up here. You can change and modify um, things. We're not going to go into that right now. Um, but that will all be discussed in the training. Okay, so the first step we're going to want to do is create a plasma cutting operation. I want an outside offset. I have my correct layer set. I have my correct tool. I'll be cutting this out of 14 gauge. And down here I have my lead in, lead out options. Uh, everything's set right as it is, so I'm just going to click OK. Now Sheet Cam is going to go through and draw the path up. Now, as you can see, it's it's drawn the path up. 
Now the one thing I don't like about this path is it's decided to start down near the bottom. Um, for my size sheet, I'm actually going to change that start point. I can change that start point anywhere I want. So what I'm going to do is put my start point right there. That looks good to me. So the next step is I'm going to post process this out. Now this is a step where sheet cam is going to write the G code. So I'll just save it as something different. So we'll save it as two. Okay. So sheet cam has now uh, post processed that image. Now I have it in G code format. I'm able to pull up my Mach 3 controller and I'm going to load my G code. My Sun 2 G code. And as you can see, we have it all dialed out. And uh, this is showing us our position. I'll zero out my axes over here right before the cut. Um, that's the G code right there. This is our THC um, control panel right here. This is going to have all of our controls for our torch bolts and uh, our preset bolts. Um, this has our cut profile settings. This is basically a library of cut settings. It's an excellent feature. It allows me to save all my settings. So I can load up 14 gauge. Um, or a quarter inch, whatever I'm deciding to cut with. So, we're going to go with um, this quarter inch. I'm going to change this to 115, and otherwise it looks good. So, now I'm all set, and I'm ready to cut.